Hi, this is Lakshmi. Today we are going to see some of the mathematical functions that are used in a SQL. First thing is an absolute function. What is an absolute function? Absolute function is nothing but it returns a absolute value. That is returns only the positive number. First I, I would like to select absolute ABS of some like minus 101.5. Here what I am getting the output is, see if I execute this, I will get only the positive number, not the negative number, only the positive number we, that it will, will get an output. And the next thing is, uh, next mathematical function that we are going to show is a ceiling. Ceiling, what is that ceiling mean? Ceiling, it, it always say, gives the highest, like greater, num greater value the give if the in the given expression if i am having 15.2 if i if i am going to ceiling i am going to use a ceiling function what it will get the output is a greater value that is 15.2 the next greater value is 16 see that is what i am getting the output and then if i'll use a negative number then here what I am getting is a minus 15 as an output. See this is the use of a ceiling function that it, it always gives a, uh, the next larger integer. Okay. Then the next function what we are going to use is a floor. What is that floor is? The floor always gives us a smaller number than the, uh, the given expression. What if, if I give a 15.2 then what we are going to get is what we are going to is a floor what does it floor does is it gives only the smaller value 15.2 the next smaller integer is a 15 see this is 15 what we are getting and the next thing is if i give a negative number then the 15 minus 15.2 the then the smallest number for minus 15.2 is 16 minus 16 this is how what floor and a ceiling function does ceiling function always returns a greater expression than that the given expression and the floor what does it does it always gives a smaller number than the given in given expression and the next function that i am going to use power function what does the power function does returns the power value of the specified expression to the specified power if i am going to use power of if i want some like 2 to the power of uh, like 2 comma 3 2 to the power of 3 then what does the output get <coughs> 2 to 2 cube that is the output is it always it gives the a specified power this is the power value and this is the number 2 to the power of 3 is 8 and the next thing that I'm going to do is a square function what does the square function it always gives a square value of value that uh, returns the square of the given number that if if I want the square of 9 some like 9 then what is the output I am going to get is eighty one square square of nine is nine nine nines are eighty one that is a function that returns a, always returns the square of the given number and the next thing is a square root what is the square root does sqrt square root of eighty one is nine square root of 81 is 9 see that is the output and the function square root is used and the next is a random function what does a random function is it always returns a random value say it bell a value between 0 and 1 random value is always takes an optional seed value that is it takes a like 1 or not it is it is an uh, optional value that is called a seed value which is an optional see if i select a rand of this it will always give an output that is 
in between 0 and 1. See, so it's, if I select all, every time the number will be changing and it will be a random value and the number will be always between 0 and 1. If I do, doesn't want to change the value, if I give a 1, number 1 in brackets, it's a seed, it is called as a seed value. Then the number, if I select this, that random value is fixed. Whenever I select, the number will not be changed. That is how the random function is used and it always generates a number between 0 and 1. If I want to, see, if I select, I am removing this seed value into 100. What does the output we will get? A number between, but you see, this is what a number 47.3. Uh, if that is a number, if I am getting that, if I floor it to the, I'm um, if I use a floor function, then I'll get I'll get an output as 47. It is rounded off floor. It uh, reduces to the C 94. If I, every, every time I select it will get a number between 1, one and 100. Okay, now I am going to do a small program that gives in, uh, 10 random numbers between 1 and 100. For that, uh, I am going to declare a, value, uh, declare a variable like a counter of data type int set that at counter as 1 equal to 1 was y at counter less than equal to 10 begin print floor of rand of into 100 set at the rate counter equal to at the rate counter plus 1 and n this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to print a set of uh, 10 numbers that are randomly printed between 1 and 100. See all the numbers that are printed between 1 and 100. Okay. See every time I'll, ch I'll get changed. The numbers are changed. If I give here 1, then it could not be stopped. Okay, this is what I am going to get an output as 10 out 10 numbers, random numbers between 1 and 100. This is what we have seen like absolute function, ceiling, floor, power, square, square root, floor and the random function. This is what we have seen for today. Thank you. Thank you for listening.